Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing good. We are back again. Um, I had the urge to do one of the burst templates. Um, and I have got a sublimation cup here that, um, I've had it made since probably August, September. Never sold, so I'm just going to use this. This is a 25 ounce um, sublimation from the Stainless Depot. Um, there's a link down below for a discount if you need it. We are going to do a burst template. That is the template with the uh, anti-cat scratch tape. So... I don't know why I used to hate doing these, but now, now they're fun. The hardest part for me is picking out the colors. So I have already, let me show you what we're using, the kind of uh, tumbler tape we're using. I've had this forever because I just have never, I don't do them very often. But I got mine from the Glitter Guy, and it's their tacky tape. I don't know if they still sell this, but if they do, this is really good, um, uh, I call it tacky tape, tumbler tape, whatever. So I have already cut my template. I got this template off of Etsy, and I will put a link below where um, I got it. It's a really cool, really cool template. So I have already cut this, and I cut this on my Cricut using the washi tape setting. So, and it, using the washi tape, washi tape setting with this tape works, or this, um, yeah, this tape works really good. So it works perfect. Um, all these little marks that you see on here is where I have labeled what, what I'm going to do. So, like I'm using foil and two different glitter colors. I'll show you those here in just a second. So, I've labeled like what I'm going to do. Like the M is midnight, the C is cottage core, and the F is foil. So, when you use the foils on these, all you have to do is literally just foil. You just lay the foil down, scrub it on, and I'll show you that here in just a second. So this is what we're going to use. Um, I have got this beautiful gold and black like holographic foil. This is from Southern Bell Glitter and I'll put a link for her down below. I do not have a code for her, but I'll put a link down below. She is the best foils ever. I love them. And then we're going to be using my favorite black, as everybody knows, Midnight from PDB. And then I'm going to use Cottage Core from PDB because it's a gold glitter, but it's got like a holographic, I mean, it's, it's got like, I say holographic, it's not holographic, it's got like different colors in it. So, um, we're going to be using that, and that, I think that will match the, like the holographic tone. And then I got, I have a regular just gold glitter, um, I don't think I'm going to use it, but just in case, it's West Coast from Glitter Heart Co., so, this is my favorite plain uh, dark gold glitter. So, my favorite gold glitters are West Coast from Glitter Heart Co. And you can probably hear my cat. She's yelling at me. Um, and then, Glitter Heart Co. has one called Champagne that's a light gold. My favorite golds. So, um, that's what we're going to be using. So, I'm going to move you down here real quick and then we will get started. I've got to lay some butcher paper down on my table because it, it obviously it's glitter. It makes a mess. So we're going to do that real quick and I will be right back. Okay guys, we are back. I have just laid down some butcher paper. Um, got my template ready. I'm going to do the foil first, I believe. Um, and I did forget to mention, make sure when you do these, make sure you measure your cup really, really well. Um, it, it almost has to be exact to get the edges to match up. So, uh, let's get started on this. Let me grab my, so I think I'm going to do the foil first. Now, I've never done foil on one of these. So, now the way this tumbler tape works is it is, it's, it's got a sticky film and then it's got this paper on top of it. So when you pull up this, this paper, it's going to leave, hopefully, it does what it's supposed to do. It's going to leave this sticky right here. So we're going to take a little piece of our, let me just cut 
a piece off of here because this foil can get out of hand. And then I'm just going to rub this on just like that. Make sure you get all the, the creases and all that good stuff. And so there's our foil. Foil part is very easy to do. So we'll just go through here real quick and get this foil put on. And the hardest part for me is getting the getting a little sticky off of there, but if y'all have never bought anything from Southern Bell Glitter, she sells more than just foil, but if you've never bought anything from Southern Bell Glitter, oh my gosh, she has some absolutely gorgeous foils. There's our second piece. I think I have enough for that there. And these templates, are they're really fun to do. And I know that I've seen people that do them um, Once they're on the cup, like they'll put the template on and then do it, or they'll do it, you know, on the, like this. And I've done it both ways. This way is easier to me. Well, I say that. It depends on what template it is. So if it's an easier template and doesn't have as many lines and stuff like that, then it's easier for me to put it on the cup. But I like doing it this way. So I'm going to get the rest of this foil put on. I have two more little spaces, or four more little spaces right here and right up here. And then we'll move into the glitter. So I will be right back. Okay, we've got our little soiled areas done. So um, what I am going to do now is the glitter. And this is why it's it's important to me. It may not be to you. I mean, I may you may not have a hard time with these. Sometimes I have a hard time with these, but. You want to start with your, uh, it's important, that's why I labeled these. So we're going to go with our darkest color first. We want to do the darkest color first. So I'm going to peel up the ones where I put the M, because that's where the midnight's going to go, which is a black glitter. And I'm kind of doing these two at a time, so... And I have a, just a tiny bit left in this bottle that I need to use, so I'm going to use it. It's not much left in this bottle. I keep this on hand, like I keep a lot of it. I think, I don't know if I've done a tutorial on one of these yet or not. Since I started doing these, but... And that is about gone. So, and then I'm, I'm going to take and I'm going to rub this in. So, you don't have to, but it, it just makes me feel better if I do. So, there's our black. And I'll get my little, like, Right here where it gets on the foil. I forgot that glitter sticks to foil. I probably should have done the foil for it last. But um, I'll just try real hard not to get it on the rest of it. So this is what I do. Um, that's all that was left in that little bitty black bottle. I'm just going to, don't hate me. I'm going to vacuum it up. Okay, now we'll go 
go on to our next one here. You just kind of want to be careful pulling these. Oh, and it pulled up both of them. Hold on. You also want to make sure that you don't pull up both like I just did. And I try not to touch that sticky unless I have to. So. Now this I will save because it's it's half a bottle of glitter, so There's that black. So I'm going to get the rest of this black done and then we will come back and get started on that gold. I, I really just wanted a minimalist like uh, tumbler template this time. Like I said, the hardest part for me is picking out the colors of the, the colors I want, so. And again, one more thing, guys, you want to try to use a, a color that is not transparent. Um, if you use a color that's transparent, it is going to show through. So, see a little piece of paper that didn't come up right there. So there we have some of our black. I'm going to go in and finish the black, and I will be right back. Okay, we have all of our midnight on, all of our black. So now we're going to go in with our um, Cottage Core from PDB Creative Studios. And again, there will be a link down below. Um, and this, guys, this is messy, this to do this. I don't know. <laughs> If you can do this without making a mess all over the place, then kudos to you because I cannot. So I'm just trying to be as careful as I can taking these off. I don't want to scrape off any of that black glitter. And it shouldn't. If I'm not mistaken, it should not stick to the black. So when I got done doing the black, I kind of just shook it over my trash can a little bit to get the, the excess off, you know, tap the back, all that good stuff. So, and it, guys, if y'all don't want your glitter sticking to the foil, it doesn't stick bad, but some of these little pieces, it's sticking pretty good. So, um, do your foil last. And uh, this time I put down a piece of, of parchment paper. So, okay, that color is not going to work. So I may have to do both of these. I may have to do the West Coast and then put the cottage core on top. So let me...
that cottage core is not, it's a little bit too transparent. I haven't used that one enough to, to know what it, what it did. So, okay. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do the cottage core and then I'm going to put the West coast on top just to fill in the white. So I'll show you on this next one, what that cottage core looks like. If you don't, um, put anything on top of it, uh, and I know I'm mixing glitters down there. I'll just throw them in my in my glitter stash. But let me, I'll show you what it does. It's just not quite dark enough. There's too much transparent glitter in here. So, but it's okay. We can use two. You can still see that cottage core through the West Coast. You can still see all those different little holographic-y looking colors. And this is why you want to do your, your dark color first. If you had a white glitter down on this, it would get stuck in that black. So, I'll we'll see if I can get up close here and show you what it looks like. But see, you can still see some of that white paper through that. So if we stick the West Coast on top of it, which is not a transparent glitter, It'll fill in, it'll kind of fill in the, the holes there. Fill in the little white gaps that we have. So, see, it fills in, it fills in, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it does fill in the, the white quite a bit. So, I'm going to go through and I will get the gold done and then we'll get this put on the cup. Okay, we have got our template. Let me pull it over here for you. This is what it looks like. So, my glitter actually didn't stick too bad to the foil. Um, it did on these little corners, but... I think it'll be fine. Um, now we're gonna get it on our cup. We're gonna put this on just like I would any other any other template. Um, you're gonna line it up. Let me get my little cup cradle here real quick so I can sh actually you can see what I'm doing. We're going to line it up. And just make sure, and it does get kind of messy putting it on. So I'm over here trying not to be messy, but it's not gonna it's it's not gonna happen. So this is what I'm gonna do because this is how I do my templates. I'm gonna swing it around here, and you want to make sure that your edges. Are matched up like that so make sure that all of your lines are even and they all match up now it with that being said if they don't um, it's not hard to fix so we're gonna let that fall there and I should have cut an edge off of the So let me, I'm going to get this started real quick, guys. This may take a second. Okay, I had to pull up a little piece so we can do the hinge method. Um, and I almost was thinking that I had to uh, paint my cut, but I think it'll be fine. Okay. And we're not going to worry about that bottom right now because it what we're it'll be I'm, I'm going to paint it and fix it. So you just want to make sure that you again, like I said, we're doing the hinge method. So and this doesn't want to come up for me. There we go. I'm trying not to get glitter all over my hands, but it is not working. 
Okay, guys, and I know that y'all can't see what I just did, but we use that hinge method to line up the, the lines on the cup. And so now what we're gonna do is we're just going to take this and, and do it just like we would vinyl. Um, you just have to be a little bit more careful doing it. So I'm gonna peel back as well as I can this little area right here. There we go. And I'm going to use my hand. I'm not, I know that y'all seen me before use my, um, my little craft squeegee thingy. This time I'm just using both of my hands and I'm very, very carefully trying not to rub off any of this glitter. I'm just kind of going back and forth and pushing that white paper off. So again, once it's on your cup, if you do rub off some of the glitter, it it's going to be okay. You can go back and touch it up. So I'm just trying very hard not to get any wrinkles or creases or, you know, making sure that it goes on straight. So... enjoy love watching me take templates or put templates on cups but since I can't use my okay if you have an overlap right here you're going to want to cut that I don't have an overlap I cut it almost exactly even and again like I said it's going to be covered up with vinyl anyway so it's not it's not a huge huge deal but you just want to get those lines as even as possible um, I have a little edge here that didn't come off that I'm going to take off really quick. It's just where I cut the template off of the, the paper. So this is what, this is what you've got. Now, um, go through, make sure you don't need any touch-ups anywhere. I look like I'm actually okay. I'm going to get um, maybe a little toothbrush and kind of get that glitter off of this foil that where it's stubborn and doesn't want to come off. Um, but you're going, yeah, I do see a little spot right here. You're going to want to seal this. Um, spray it a couple of times with Rust-Oleum Clear. You're going to want to spray it a few times with Rust-Oleum Clear, let it dry dry off really good, um, and then you can go in and do your epoxy. So I do see a couple of spots, and this is really all you have to do to touch it up. It's not, it's not a huge, not a huge thing. So, but that's what we're left with. So I'm going to go ahead and get this sealed. Um, I am going to actually seal mine, I think, with a with um, I'm out of clear spray paint. But I'm going to seal mine with um, adhesive apothecaries binding, uh, not binding potion. Yeah, binding potion. So I will, let me show you what this is. I bought this. Um, I had never used it before. I always just use um, Crystal X glitter glue to seal, but I wanted to try it out, and it actually works really well. Um, I don't like the way it smells, but that's just me. So we're gonna. I'm gonna seal mine with this, and then we will come back after I get this epoxied, and we will get some striping put on there. Okay, guys, here is our finished tumbler. It just needs uh, one or two coats of epoxy, and we will be done with it. Um, so what I did, I, I went ahead and striped it off camera. So what I did was I just had, I used um, pin striping from PDB, and I used the black, and I just went around each little line. And then I used the thin gold 
that one's not matching up, but it's okay. I used the thin gold and then went around each side of the black. So one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. So that is our finished tumbler. I did seal it with the binding potion from Adhesive Apothecary. And, but that's it, guys. That's how you uh, do a burst template on the anti-scratch tape. So, I did seal it twice. I, I should have mentioned that. I did seal it twice. Just because these, and I need to fix that. Just because the, uh, the, the pin strapping likes to pull up. I wanted to make sure that it was nice and sealed. Um, but all it needs is uh, probably two coats of epoxy and it will be done. And I will show you that in the at the very end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I will be back with another one. And I think it might be another burst template. I'm, or another, yeah, burst template. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you have any questions, just let me know and in the comments below and don't forget the discount codes down there for you guys i found a little spot that i didn't cut so i've got to cut that real quick um that's why you always want to check double check triple check all of your when i, I sealed this the first time and i realized like one of these spots up here like i didn't i didn't stripe it at all so you want to double check triple check especially when you have this many this much pin striping so Again, guys, if y'all have any questions, put them in the comments below. And I guess you can look at me now. Put them in the comments below, and I will see you next time. We'll figure out what we're going to do. So, if there's anything you guys want to see, leave me a comment and let me know. Um, because I'm running out of ideas. So, y'all just let me know, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.